We have to do things in our engineering that take advantage of the way the human body works. Television, for example, we, we don't transmit an infinite continuum of colors. Uh, we, we transmit only red, green, and blue. You might say that's a kind of compression system. Um, people don't question that anymore. Uh, there was a time back in the 1940s when these experiments were being done uh, when people were skeptical of whether it was valid to uh, to create so-called color pictures just using three primary colors. But everyone's happy with that now, and it takes advantage of the way the human eye works. Um, how about having frames go by at 24 frames per second or 60 frames per second or whatever you want. We know that the, the eye can respond only so fast. The ear works in this much the same way. The ear takes time to respond to a signal. Um, it, it's dead for a while after after the signal, a loud signal has arrived. And, and you can do things in those dead times that uh, uh, seem scandalous, uh, but uh, uh, it's, it's the way to create efficiency and practicality. In other words, what I'm saying is uh, perceptual coders, I think, are perfectly valid uh, ways of, of de dealing with signal. There's nothing artificial about it or cheating or anything like that. It's as, it's as honest as I I everything else we do in, in this world to, um, to create the effects that, that we want. How about heating up a piece of tungsten wire, for example, with electricity um, to, to create uh, an effect that, is, uh, uh, that mimics the sun? Are we going to say, well, that's not sun in there, that's just a piece of wire. It's artificial light, but it's certainly very useful. <laughs>